Welcome Sagittarians. Sagittarian, this is um, the Abundance of Money and Prosperity reading. It is the Aquarian season. The Aquarian season begins from the 20th of January until February 18. I want to say thank you for being here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. Remember to subscribe, subscribe, and show your love by thumbs up all right aquarians let's see what is coming up you have the energy of the nine of pentacles so we have five and three is eight so some sort of unexpected money could be coming in uh, a hand is coming up to some sort of an issue some sort of a network some sort of a collaboration and this coming up you can see this is the only upright card you have so you have to recognize this so we have five and three is eight. Um, and uh, um, six, um, that is 14. And then we have nine. All right. So um, in total, um, we are going to be looking at the existence of what is going on. So we have six and nine. Um that is um 15 and then we have eight um eight and 15 is 23 so we have the energy of transition you have number five you're working on the energy of five now working on the energy of five is um absolutely absolutely powerful this is about transition coming up in your world there is no question about it you don't have to um, um worry because there's transition sorry for the silence so um sometimes i like to um really take a look at the energies that is happening and transpiring and really recognizing where we are at a place in our lives as we move forward um to create our world so 23 um, is uh, um, 23 you're you're working on the frequency of 23 5 23 5 is about changes okay 5 is the hard number so it's 23 5 so you're dealing with three energies um, dualities you're dealing with networking collaboration and 5 is about changes is, is going to be coming up so we need to recognize and use these uh, you can use the numbers for making appointment, timelines appointment, and that sort of a thing. Um, definitely an ending is going to be coming in a Sagittarian. There is no question about that. Um, an ending is definitely going to be coming in. So you have 20, uh, 23 5 for this season. Recognize what is 23 5, how you work with the number frequency, because you need to learn to work with this because it's about. Um, shifting and changing your in you know, business work and that sort of a thing. Now we're going to be looking at the five energy, five of pentacles energy, Mercury in Taurus. So Mercury in Taurus, this is about um, the worries about your financial situation is going to be over. So that is good Sagittarius. So congratulations. So whatever worries that you all had over your financial stability, your money, the influx of your money, this is going to be over because um, it is going to be very much balanced out because whatever that was happening to create a whole lot of financial stress and worries for you is going to be broken down in the week of the 20th on uh, till the 26th. Okay, so this is really, really wonderful because what you Sagittarian is going to be recognizing is that this is creating a whole different world for you guys and this is going to be powerful then when we look at the energy at the three of pentacles so if you notice Sagittarian there is a lot of frequency of money 
um, that is here. You're working um, with the energy of the pentacles where um, some of you are dealing with a Taurus in um, the first week. In the second week, you're going to be dealing with the energy of the Capricorns, okay, and some sort of a network collaborations with a Capricorn. Now, what we see with the three of pentacles is Morris in the Capricorn. So there is something at work that you're dealing with a Capricorn and there was some sort of a problem or some of you Sagittarians had created some sort of a problem. Listen, the house of the Capricorn, Mars in Capricorn is definitely some sort of a situation at work where some of you try to um, ruin a Capricorn reputation because the Capricorn is the 10th house, Mars is the first house. Okay, so um, it is the artist of uh, artistic uh, um, uh, situation at work. Um, technical knowledge and mastering, okay, recognition and success achieved through perseverance and focus. But if you recognize this, this energy is in a reverse because a lot of you could be working against and trying to ruin someone's reputation, a Capricorn reputation. And I see this Capricorn is going to be hitting back and hitting back hard. So Sagittarian, um, you got to be aware of uh, how you displace uh, energies and disperse energies, especially when you're looking at uh, the season and the abundance of money and prosperity. Because what is transpiring is that uh, Mars in Capricorn is about a Capricorn at work, okay? And it's that the self, the energy of Mars is the self and something that you did to ruin a Capricorn reputation or trying to ruin a Capricorn reputation. And this is going to be in the week of uh, um, the 27th till the 2nd of February. So you got to recognize what you're doing because this is going to be coming back. And, you know, this is what I always advise people. Don't try to ruin a Capricorn reputation because they're going to be hitting you and hitting you hard. Okay? Because Capricorn rules the 10th house of career. So some sort of a a career situation, some sort of a tower moment in your career is going to be coming down in the second week because you try to ruin a Capricorn reputation and this Capricorn is going to be taking down your Sagittarian. So be aware of that, okay? So some sort of a collaboration is going to be coming to an end for some of you Sagittarian. It could be um, unexpectedly um, you get fired from your work, that sort of a thing is going to be coming up for you, Sagittarius, in um, the week of the 27th till the 2nd of February. So you got to recognize, so what are you doing in this week and how are you aff afflicting your energies on other people and what you're doing to ruin other people's reputation, especially it is a Capricorn, you're in the house of the Capricorn and you're dealing with a Capricorn in the a work situation and in your career situation. And I see this Capricorn is going to be taking back their powers and it's going to be bringing you down. You got to recognize who you create um, um, problems for because this Capricorn is going to be coming back. Now, the week of the third going in the nine, um, you know, you have a sword energy and the sword energy is the not the six of, uh, um, the six of swords. Now the energy of the six of swords is Mercury in Aquarian. Now listen to me, Saji. Mercury in Aquarian is about curiosity. It's about knowledge. It's about mental, um, explanation, um, explosion. Okay. An objective and rational mind. Purpose, um, um, purposely, the cross of uh, the hermit. And what is transpiring here is that the order of the golden dawn represents the ability to think analytic and to consider all information. So the six of swords energy is about endings, okay? And it's about, uh, um, Mercury, Mercury in Aquarius. Now, where is Mercury um, in your birth chart? Which one of these uh, energies? Where is Mercury in your birth chart? Mercury in your birth chart, you're dealing with the Virgos and you're dealing um, with the sixth house and the third house. 
the, 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 the these houses, so your environment, people in your environment. So this is what I'm saying, that some of you, Sagittarian, could be losing your jobs because that is the three, the, the Mercury house, the first house of Mercury is the house of Gemini. So if you're a lawyer, a professional, you could be losing your job. Some sort of an end is coming up to your job. Um, so recognize this, um, um, Sagittarian, and be focused and understand what is transpiring when you get these energies alerting you as what to expect in these uh, um, seasons. So the first house of Mercury is the house of environmental, where um, it's about your work, it's about your job, because obviously um, and someone um, jo job is going to be ending. The Six of Swords is about ending and moving forward, looking for better waters. And the second house of Mercury is in the house of uh, the sixth house. So obviously, someone job or someone work uh, a contract is going to be ending. Um, so there we can see this. But on the flip side, um, for a lot of you, um, caution, curiosity, knowledge, and mental exploration is going to be good okay the rational mind is going to be coming up and is going to be helping some of you so not all of you will use your jobs all of you will have an eye sense where your rational mind is speaking and it's alerting you and you know it's it's a powerful season because you're recognizing um what it is that you should do in what direction you should move forward okay so uh, Mercury in Aquarius is like communication also. So um, communication could be very, very good for you, Sagittarians, um, especially um, when you reach the week of uh, the third until the ninth. Communication could be very, very powerful. Use that week to do any sort of communication. Mm. Wonderful energies. Then as we look at um, the ninth, um, nine of pentacles gains. Um, so some sort of a money could be returning to some of you. So um, that is looking good. Venus in a Virgo, Venus in Virgo. So a Virgo could be returning a lot of money or some of you who are um, networking with a Virgo, business could be very good. And there is going to be some sort of a return on your um, financial stability. So that is going to be good. Wonderful, wonderful alignment of energies. So Venus in Virgo is always um, really positive. Um, some sort of an improvement uh, um, is coming up in your financial area where money could be returning to you guys. So it's about gains. Um, mm hmm it's about gains. It's about you um, receiving. So a lot of you, your contract would be ending and they're paying you out. So recognize this energy. But, you know, ending with the nine of pentacles is, is money that is uh, from the past coming back in the future for a lot of you. And this is going to be good. So it's a matter of you exhilarating your sense of... Uh, um, recognizing how things are going to be transpiring in your world. And this is going to be absolutely fabulous because this is going to be sending you in a direction where you're recognizing your true powers and is using your true powers in order to align yourself. So um, whoever is losing their job is going to be getting some sort of a payout. It could be you're fired and you're you really um, regain your power. By um, money has to be paid because if you recognize the money is coming in, it's not going out. So it is a situation of some of you could be um, a job could be ending, a project could be ending, a business could be ending, and you're regaining money. Some of you who have uh, uh, collaborated with a Virgo, you're going to be. Um, creating a lot of wealth together and a big payout is going to be coming in in the week of the 10th to the 18th. So this is going to be powerful. There's no question about it. You're going to be aligning 
um, your financial flow is going to be good for you. Um, Sagittarian is, is going to be an absolutely wonderful Aquarius is actually giving you luck when it comes on to your financial flow in this period. And this is going to be working and working out in a very, very um, positive, positive way. Um, so use this power. Remember to show your love by thumbs up. I, Love you guys. I gotta go. Namaste.